right. Thank you, everybody. Thank, thank you, everybody, for coming. And um, also, hi to we got two live feeds here. One on Facebook on the Word dot Berlin or the Word Berlin. Um, we got a live feed there, and we have got another one on uh, on YouTube on Berlin Art and other. And I'm just going to say a few words really quickly before we start before we get going. Uh, I want to thank the Word because, uh, in spite of kind of everything that's going on, they uh, they make the place open and make it possible for us to be doing doing something, doing this. So you know, Sophie's been feeding poetry for a long time, and uh, uh, me. So I really appreciate this. Uh, second of all. Hannah, a big thank you to her. No Hannah, no event. So she's she's really uh, uh, just a lot of fun to work with. She manages the word. Uh, I'll skip to the thank yous a bit later. Um, tonight, uh, the, the idea a little bit, the, the event is called uh, Berlin Art and Other, and the idea is to uh, create kind of a loose platform where we as uh, artists based in Berlin can maybe come together and try to get events going and especially here we've got these live streams going which make it possible for us to reach out to more than just Berlin. Uh, pretty much anyone anywhere who's got uh, you know an internet connection and uh, that gives us a bit more exposure and also makes it possible for us to make uh, make a bit of money. And so there's a PayPal link that's in uh, in the description. So if you uh, kind of like what you see, uh, show some love. Thank you very much for that because, yeah, we're doing what we can. Uh, this summer I came across this, these amazing musicians who were, who were playing in the park and today I'm really, really, really happy to uh, get the, um, not performing with them, but to share a stage with Lineker Bunzi and Ras Chamu here, who are gonna be playing on the Bira, which is the African thumb piano. Uh, all of them, including the Bira, hail from, from, from Zimbabwe. And for me, this is, this is what Berlin is supposed to be. This is what we're supposed to be doing. And uh, for me, it's just wonderful to, uh, after a short break, they're going to play, and I'm going to read a bit of poetry. So, anyways, uh, I this has been long enough. Uh, <laughs> thank you very much, everybody, for being here. Yeah!
it okay if we close the window? Yes. A big thanks to Matt, by the way, who's been doing a great job on the sound. Like, doing what he's doing. Thanks to Matt. Also, like to thank Ron Edward, who's back there. Two weeks, he's been helping me set up the, these live streams and everything. So, a big thanks, Ron. Thank you very much, Dean Reeve, tonight. He's here. Big thanks, Dean. My name is Robert. The past is now slowly slipping away from the fingers that wanted so much. Now the gentle breeze blowing pollen across streets becoming familiar. This is called back and it's for Peter it's from Preshov. Preshov is on close to the Ukrainian border. And they don't change. We are mice, he says. They give my mother so little she barely covers heating, let alone food. We use gas, he clarifies. A group of us ran, he continues. I lost my brother. Father hanged from the kitchen beam. I was small. I'm going to get even, he says. I am going to go back. Faith is blind. As sightless as I drive through snow falling so thick it has overtaken every inch of the windshield. Turning to your right, you see the person there at that time. Then, on a day when weather could be late fall clement or clear pink sunsets, an unexpected other sits by your side or walks into a room and you are together. Advice, if you can, don't come back. It's cold here. Youth looks different. And leaves are red. Orange and yellow. About Bernard, I won't build suspense. Nine years down the road, Bernard shot himself, but before then, he encountered complications. One spick rocks on abandoned fields of expectation. Bernard worked in fireball, July heat. 
unusual he he did not suspect to be a consequence of fossil fuel consumption. His thoughts would hover on his friends working in cafes, making more money, smooth talking lady bees that worked at the bar. Why exactly was he there? Damn. Those fields had no end. Looking back, he saw just as many stones as before. Sometimes it looked as if they multiplied. Possibly noticing, Papa B flew right in on his four-wheeler and provided a sincere expression of shock, disappointment, and urgency. What is this, good God? Non-conflictive, he acknowledged Bernard's failure. I thought you'd be done last week. Candid, he admitted. Summer's coming to an end. I just don't know what's going to happen if we don't get this done. Dead silence had fallen for what seemed like twelve firm seconds, but was barely two. A single crow resounded. Bop a beaten fat. When I was a young bee, I picked garbage for four summers to put together a piece of shit bicycle. I called it piece of shit. <laughs> it sure looked bad, he sang. But now, blushing, merging distress and satisfaction, Papa B concluded. Look what we have now. On a bus crossing the border, I met a painter who loved messing with automated grocery store payment systems. The officer disliked my kind. How much do you have? Back on board, my newfound companion reached into their jacket. There, they said. Xanax or ambient and boom poor authority bus CD underbelly you called for and today your moan still echoes as the rush of daily events unfold. Where were you, lucidity and forgiveness, when the window gave on to laughter of child in a home?
in war, plainly put your high rises, never invited me upstairs off streets named after countries. Slow Tuesday, I'm buying water. Two five liter containers, not really bottles. I hate writing structure text. This is as long as I can be faint. Because who am I writing to? Even if you pay for it, will you see me? Will I help you on weekends with yard work? Or will you see a man I fail to be? Because this and that disappear and take me with you. Somewhere I can be me more easily. And I can fuck around in your yard. See, this is me. And that is probably why I write less. It was snowing and a light carpet covered the otherwise neon spec collection of expired project. Now Central and Eastern Europe stood for Republic's bridging investment east. Business was good. The nerds were moving in. Things hadn't changed. Her pulse was high and her breathing cut up. Fear had found her again. But that was the excess and the solitude. It was a new year after all, and the city was waiting. But again she drifted. Some things hadn't changed. The familiar smell of pollution, which like a father's aftershave recalled childhood. The simplicity of cement. Businessmen brought money and with money came a cornucopia of twists and perks. Unexpected invitations. To colorful events full of people you saw on television. The move felt new as well. It covered the harder surface, and the end result was a blend of tough skin pessimism and contagious happiness. Hopelessness and a chronic propensity to distribute energy. Up the river we go. Nine men, five girls, four boys in a basket. One paddler. The clear night sky Star filled directly under the half moon. 
a lamb over river crossing. The basket spins counterclockwise. We paddle to the right. Basket spins clockwise. We paddle left. Looking to learn four pictures in a different light. The swan studies her observer. The sun has set. She nests. Larry had been abused at the tender age of eleven. It hurt, he remembered. Maybe. No one wanted to hear about it, so Larry depressed. Pa was devastated, too. Maybe he had been abused. At times, Larry listened to jazz. And the economy was bad. Over the walls of the maze, thought Larry. Over the walls of the maze. How I wish I could turn back time. Texted Johnson on the beach. Receiving the electronic message was Johnson's mistress, Ron. She's sipping on a beer at home. I want it all. The three notes summarize it well. I want my space. Outside of the city. I'm tired of the hole I've gotten myself into. Knowing full well I was going too far. I want to get to start over. I want a budget. I want to kiss cute girls in the Estonian marsh. I want my phone to ring like it used to. I want intelligent friends. I want to drink my fill. I want to laugh. I want to discover Mexico again to see that some people live. I want us to cancel party attendance ten minutes before we get there. 
because we got a better offer and I want the others not to be offended because that's how Friday night in Paris happens. I want to swim in the sea and fall asleep and order exactly what I want on the menu. I want us to be drunk at noon at the garden reception while they play Brahms or whatever the fuck it was. And I want to scream at you that I've never been happier through tears pouring out of my eyes like a damn broke. I want to be back there when I fill in the blank and I should have fill in the blank. I want to gallop on a horse again and feel like I'm flying. I want the pain to go away in the Estonian marsh. People come here for solutions. Don't do that. Words do not solve problems that don't exist. On his way to lunch, Larry crossed the street. There was no one in there that early. It was 12.09 now. Someone was bound to come in. Would he eat a burger? Or a cheese burger? <laughs> Larry felt like a beer. <laughs> Outside cars passing by. People passing by. I'll tell you my story. I used to be one time when I was 17, Mafia. I took people by the neck. I put gun in the face and one time I killed somebody that I needed to go away on a boat. I needed to go away. Now I change. Good karma. I'm 34. I'm married. I have two children. I sell flowers in the morning. Marriage is important, he says. You have children. You see them. Teach them. In his eyes, there is love. There is also longing. He looks into the distance over the Ganges, beyond the other bank. I know people who sell drugs, he says. Every morning I see them. They ask for money. I stay out. He needs to lean on someone just a little. Even though he is married. Even though family life has shown him a way back on his boat back to the same port, but to a different life. Come see me, we go on my boat. My English is not good, 
he says, Dull yellow gecko on my wall. How much will you charge? I dreamed of a cowboy last night. He came and he killed the man across fields over a bridge up falls. He ran, but he did not want to. I'm kind of looking around and uh, going like, I think this is about it. Yeah. Um, I'd like to thank everybody who came here tonight. What about the other poems? What? What about the other poems? <laughs> the other poems. All right. All right. Just well, do, do them all. You guys fucking, Alla, you guys fucking are. Just come on to the end. Everything. This is called a thousand galaxies. <laughs> Sadness does not go away, nothing goes away to wear space. One week, the Hubble telescope focused on a square millimeter and a thousand galaxies appeared. Focus on sadness. Look, a city, Friday night. And then it's Monday again. <laughs> or worse, Sunday. Or worse, get a job, they say. They say many things. <laughs> Fear burn like a wicker in a glass cup on a grandparent's resting place on a night when even the dead need you to go away. <laughs> coming. Uh, it's great because, like I said, not a lot of events going on and here we are. Uh, really huge, huge, huge thanks to Ras Chamu and Lenny Grimpunzi. <laughs> you guys made me cry and filled the room with joy. It was fucking beautiful. Thank you very much to the word. Everybody, once again, welcomed us here. Um, a big thanks to everybody out there in our live streams. Thank you very much. Like I said, you know, uh, if you can, there's a PayPal link down there. Otherwise, if people in here want, I, I, I got 300 third printings done of my book called Portraits. Most of these. Uh, poems came from portraits and portraits is a bit particular because if you focus just on people real people you know not people with makeup on on television and stuff like that but real people if you look at real people it's not it's not the prettiest of fucking sights you know? <laughs> and, uh, and, and I think that's where music comes in that's where you know uh, there's a, there can be a lot of music with, with just naked words. And so obviously it's called portraits, but it's got to be about more than just people. So 
yeah, uh, that's that. I finished that book in 2017, and uh, yeah, there's some some copies at the bar if anybody wants them. But yeah, thank you very much for coming. Have a very nice evening, and uh, yeah, cheers. <laughs>